So the question is whether the leaders of South Sudan will, will actually uh, respond positively to this. But they, but but uh, my if track record and history of their behavior is anything to go by, uh, I doubt there will be an immediate uh, change coming uh, because uh, they they have not shown uh, a capacity to to respond to these calls in the past, including in 2019, the Pope himself um, kissed their feet uh, in, in beseeching them to prioritize peace and take care of welfare of their people. And what do you think they will not heed his call this time around? Well, uh, first of all, there is there are immense challenges uh, facing that country where there are multitudes of armed groups fighting the government, where the government is also involved in state violence against citizens, uh, where uh, the security forces are indisciplined and have been involved in, in spreading firearms to the citizens, the communities, to, to fight each other. And so to rein in all these groups uh, is going to require uh, forgiveness, but also uh, a stern state uh, power and state coercion in a just and equitable way. And I think these are not easily attainable uh, in the current situation in South Sudan. So it's not just a matter of the leaders not responding. It is also a question of the difficulty of the situation. And uh, to reduce violence and communal warfare, uh, the level of, uh, of uh, acrimony between communities uh, takes a leadership and it takes dedication and forgiveness. And I think that is going to be a serious challenge for the people of South Sudan. And, okay. and the coming of the Pope might have lifted the spirits in the country as a whole, but it might not necessarily translate into action. What do you think the Pope's message was when he stood side by side with two other uh, church leaders from two different denominations that are not a Roman of Roman Catholic faith? Well, that is why the, the visit itself is so significant, not only for South Sudan, but for the world, uh, as the history of uh, the church has shown that uh, there have been no m movements such as this, where the Church of England, the Church of Scotland, and the Catholic Church have worked together on anything like this, uh, as their visit is a pilgrimage, a peace pilgrimage, as it was called, to try to uh, bring attention uh, to this vaccine problem in South Sudan. Uh, and so it is, uh, it's, a, it's a message of hope for the whole world. If these leaders succeed in influencing the events uh, from now on in that country, such that peace prevails in that country, it will bring hope to the other places around the world that are suffering conflicts, such as Syria, Myanmar, um, the Central African Republic, Congo itself, and, and Ukraine. 